Alright, what is happening, y'all? Defro back in the house. The Black Shepherd is here. Gonna be doing a couple of things on Greedfall, talking to you about keeping up the theme, I guess, of uh of October. Which is uh scary stuff, Halloween. All that kind of stuff. I'm gonna talk about my probably my top 15 uh, scary movies and a couple of my unique scary movies that I um, that I love. Or maybe it's just maybe one thing in it that scares me or gave me the creeps, so it had to be on my list. I don't remember how to play this game again. Once again, I came out here with no. Where did this person come from? Are they back? Quite sure they was dead last time I checked. But I tell you what really scares me. Uh, pretty much seeing anything in the Marvel universe. I am. So scared to see uh, Black Panther. I do want to see Black Panther. The second Black Panther movie when it comes out. But I don't at the same time. I don't at the same time because of... Um, the MCU is so bad now. Goodness, they... Uh, I'm like, and this isn't what, uh, I was on the team, let's get a new Black Panther, because that is what our boy said he wanted. That's what Chad, Chadwick said he wanted. He said it was too early for, uh, the female Black Panther just yet. And it's not like they needed it because, um, heck, uh, it was a relatively women-rich environment. It wasn't, um, it wasn't absent of women. If you look at the first, uh, Black Panther, it had a lot. It had a lot already in there. It had a lot of women, strong women that didn't take no crap from anybody. They were in there and it was fun. It was it was good. It was fun. Uh, they were kicking butt alongside him and they wasn't weaker than him. They wasn't stronger than him. They were they were right pretty much at his level. And it was great. Everybody brought their own attributes to the screen. Uh with the first Black Panther. Glad to see you, my friend. I intend to prove and to I don't I identify as a knot once more. I don't know if I think I will have to go through that the test um it will certainly be dangerous. But with that I disagree I with the them making her so, making the female so Black Panther. But at the same time, like I said, uh it would be my not because not now. We still needed uh, an, uh, an uh, the original male Black Panther. That would have been um, that have been great. It was too soon for them to you know move on to this. And just the way they're going, man, I, I'm just not down for the uh, the women bashing, the male bashing, I should say. Uh, I, I'm. I'm a little uh, done with that. You know, um, you had it just way too much in majority of these movies. Even though uh, I know a lot of people's like, "Oh, but you liked Love and Thor: Love and Thunder," but yeah, it wasn't as bad in there, though, y'all. It 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 wasn't as bad. It 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 was. It had its problems. Go up there and get that. I need that. That's a skill point. It had its uh its problems, but I I, I saw plenty of other things I loved in that movie. 
to uh I mean I think it's gonna be in every movie. The uh the women's rights thing. I think that's gonna be in women and gay rights. I think that's gonna be in almost everything. You know, it's definitely gonna be over the black folks. Anything concerning black folks. <laughs> But, uh... I think, um... I think it's okay. Some of it, I, I think we get at a point where we start, uh... We get so paranoid, any little thing now makes us mad. You see one thing, and now we're like, oh, look what they're doing. They're bringing it up. And sometimes it it's, it's, might just be our own little paranoia. But they're definitely... I know I can't chew gum and talk at the same time and, uh, and walk. So I gotta stop what I'm saying anytime I see an enemy. Try to stay focused. Hmm. This boy didn't get get up at all. Oh. All right, now that the danger's gone, y'all know how I get. Yeah, I think we get so paranoid, um, you know, now we we see it in everything. You know, when you get man-bashed so much, you start seeing it all the time. Like, ah, dog, they doing it again. They doing it again. And maybe that's, that's what I'm afraid of when I go to see Black Panther. If I go see the movie, because I'm kind of just at a point, I'm like, eh. Do I need to see it? Probably not. Right here, I don't know why. How oh, I missed that. All the bushes and the covering up. How was how did I miss all of that? It's so obvious that this it's right there. Black Panther uh I, I I want to I want to see it. I want to see it because you know it's 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 Black Panther. You know I, I I've waited a long time for Black Panther. For sure I stopped. Him. I waited a long time for Black Panther as um. Oh my god, I'm wasting bullets! So I waited a long time for Black Panther uh, to come out, because I remember when I had heard that uh, Black Panther was uh, supposed to be done by Wesley Snipes! Does anybody remember that? When Blade was, was on a roll! Before Marvel and before everything start being Marvel and putting all their politics in, in superhero movies when they left superhero movies alone and stopped putting all their politics and everything inside of it. If anybody remembers that, yes, there was a time that our boy... Wesley Snipes was going to be Black Panther. But of course that deal fell through. Uh, he didn't get a chance. He bought Blade, but I don't think he got a chance. Uh, the deal with Black Panther fell through. So Wesley Snipes wasn't able to, to get that one. So do I need to go up there? I think I still need to go up there, right? It's still another one up there. Alrighty. 
But yeah, the deal fell through, so we didn't we didn't get that one. So I was like, okay, I'm kind of waiting for them to ever do it again. So I was when they finally did it, Hulk and I said it. Kiss mark revolving hearts. Check I mark said hearts. it. Hot face kiss mark zany face. Smiling face with hearts check mark button zany face revolving hearts kiss mark sweat droplets. Yeah, check mark I am. Um... Zany face zany face thumbs up sweat droplets hot face. Kiss mark love letter thumbs up zany face. Yeah, um, fortunately. <laughs> I mean, if it continues to stream, I, 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 if it continues to watch, I don't mind. I don't know if it's watching, but if somebody keeps putting up uh, porn site stuff, you know, uh, uh, in the uh, in the live chat, oh, I hate that. If you want to view? That's fine. If you want to be a part of the chat, you can. There it is. I was trying to remember what button is it. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with somebody coming on advertising. That's fine. You know, do what you do. But uh, not coming on with uh, porn stuff, y'all. Or um, those kind of sites. Let's let's keep it. I'm I'm trying to keep it as wholesome as possible by not doing a whole bunch of cussing and fussing. So let's try not to have that in the live chat. But um, all right. So that's where that one is. Figure out where am I going next? Where are we going? Where are we going? What's up, bro? What's up, Ed? Ed, lethal, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, brother? It's been a long time, bruh. Been a long time. My fault. My fault. Not yours. Mine. I'll take the heat. <laughs> You've been okay, bruh. Hopefully so. Hopefully you got you and your wife your Halloween outfit. You know. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know, uh... <laughs> I know y'all probably only get, don't get down like that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just making. No Samuel, huh? That... <laughs> oh shit! Oh Samuel! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's about to be chicken right here. Over here, about to die, laughing at you. Dudes is putting it on me. Everybody gotta get these shots. Oh, let me uh, try to save my group. My phone is slow right now. Oh yeah. Saturday my phone was acting up. Event, baby. What's up, Rocky Lee? What's up, fam? How you bees? How you bees? You know what? Change my Please weapon. Tears of joy, old dude. No worries. Oh, 
Oh my god. It's like one of those times, fellas, that I gotta stop talking. Yeah, bro and Mr. Townsend, dot dot my guys, how y'all feeling? Raised fist, raised fist, raised fist, raised fist. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm kind of turning into a little bit of a, uh, chicken. Oh my god, bruh. I'm good other than that raised fist, dark skin tone hundred points. Oh, why did y'all hit him? Did nobody tell y'all to hit him? Jeez. This is one of those ones I can't even stop. Y'all having a full conversation. I'm over here getting killed. Rocky Lee. Smiling face with sunglasses. Wow. Oh my god. What the? Oh hell no! You didn't got your health back? This is some. This dude done went all over the place, and yet and still, it's it's reset time. And how did she die? Wrapping up paperwork for the job. Two hours from now, I'll be good. I heard that. Ride on raised fist, dark skin tone hundred points. What is going on? Oh. nothing stop him I'm not I'm not really getting why nothing stopping this guy oh. now I'm mad no no not that y'all cheating cause y'all ain't got him taking no damage Y'all hit him? Don't y'all dare hit him. Yo, this boss must be on lethal mode. Thinking face exploding <laughs> head.
not what well, his character is using this uh This character isn't as uh, powerful as my other character, and my my teammates are like really, really messing me up. even give you nothing that's that's what's amazing all of that he gave me nothing nothing two-hour battle nothing all I really was trying to get to was this right here that's it it made mr. Samuel really mad Anyway, I was supposed to be talking about uh, horror movies. Some of my favorite horror movies. Um, and now it's funny, everybody's left the chat now that I'm finished fighting. <laughs> now, that now that I'm finally finished fighting and can talk, everybody has left the chat. Awesome. That's exactly what I'm talking about. to go all the way down over there. Probably, uh, and some of my most, the unique I'm ones. I'm face with tears of joy. My phone needs attention. <laughs> That's funny. I heard that. It says sometimes your phone can sometimes be like, be like your significant other. It needs that good touch. not remember exactly whose missions I'm doing. That's what happens when you break up the streams too much. But I think some of the most unique ones, I think I want to talk Rolling about those first. I think I want to talk about some of the most unique uh, the ones I, I, I felt were kind of unique anyway. Um, when it came to horror movies, um, tear, tear, rolling on the floor, mm -hmm. laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling. I, I, on the floor, I laughing. know, bruh, it can be wear and tear on any of these phones. Aren't you don't even have to bump your phone or drop your phone, all that other stuff, man. It's just the updates beat them up every time you get an update, they Tell like. Me. Every time you do an update, man, on these phones, they start breaking. But, uh, I think some of my most unique horror films, uh, Us, Us was very unique. It wasn't, I don't think it was actually good, 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 but it was unique. And I think, uh, sometimes it's what you need. Sometimes you need a little, uh, unique. Sometimes you need a little unique, uh... Okay, yeah, that's the parry. When it comes to, uh... Not everything has to be exceptionally scary, but just some stuff to creep you out. Can um, really, really uh, drive it home. 
I think us had uh, more creepiness in it than actual scares. I think, uh, of course, the ending was pretty creepy. The um, certain things about the movie was really creepy. I wouldn't say scary, but it had some some creepiness in it. Why are they becoming broken out of Okay. Anywho. I think some of those um some of my favorites or I should say favorite parts in movies um get out is another one you know i know that's by peel jordan peel but uh those all had creepy moments i wouldn't say they were utterly great and scary uh i think uh get out kind of made you uh think a little bit <laughs> about some stuff Yeah, it made you, uh, it made you think, it made you think, um, the sunken place, it makes you think about certain things in Hollywood and certain things in, um, in, um, anytime you see Interracial couples sometimes it makes you think certain things. So um, it had a uh, get out definitely had its little creepy moments. Like I said, I wouldn't say they were. It was scary, scary, but it had some thinking creepy moments about it. I think uh, when Buddy Boy uh, came out of the trance in the um. At the party, and you know he was that. That that was pretty creepy. That was pretty creepy. Um, Split is another one, which I actually think Split is actually a really good movie. Uh, I mean, of course, because it is M Night Shyamalan, uh, it had to do with um, Glass. Had to do with uh, Unbreakable and Glass. Another Samuel L. Jackson movie! Mmm! So, uh... That was... That was... That was... I, I love the way those movies connect. I wasn't that big of a fan of... The way Glass ended and how... They kept trying to fool you into thinking that... I mean... That none of this stuff was real. I didn't like that. Because it's like, you already know it's real. But they spent a lot of time trying to convince you in that movie. That, oh yeah, that that wasn't real. And it's like, wait a minute, it is real. Like, I, I, I saw the other two movies. It is real. Stop, stop doing this. But, uh... It was okay. It, it was okay, but I think, uh, Split was Split and uh, Unbreakable were the two best out of that uh, series, out of that uh, genre series? How many of them? That trio? I think that well, those were the best two. Um, if I could find out where is the other part of the mission. Okay, what is that camp called? That's what that camp is called. Something I can't pronounce. Or refuse to pronounce. Um, and another one which really... Uh... Brightburn. Brightburn was... Definitely in my, on my list. 
of game of uh, movies that were different. It was different. Maybe not exactly completely scary, but they were different and um, definitely had some spookiness to them. Uh, Brightburn um, definitely was. Uh, if you haven't seen that movie, oh lord. People in their spoilers. Oh, you spoiled it for me. I mean, the movie's been out for like, I don't know how long now. But, uh, Bright Burned was one of those movies is willing to meet you at that to sign told, the um, you really are an the alternate side of, uh, superheroes. Technically. You, the whole you know, it was, it was great. It was great. The end... Uh, during the actual credits was actually what brought the whole movie together. Because at first, you know, you're kind of... You're kind of wondering certain things. You're piecing certain things together and you're like, oh, yeah, this is kind of... Kind of reminds you of that. Kind of reminds you of uh, some Superman type stuff. And then it just, you know, has its total different turn. I do not trust him. We should consider total different turn. Um, and of course, at the very end, during the credits, you see the stuff that they're saying, and it is, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, had some creepy parts in it too. Um. Concerning, uh, I think one of the parts that uh, creeped me out was when uh, he killed the guy in the car. That was uh, that was pretty creepy. That was pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. Can't stand when they do that. Tell me to wait. So I had to go all the way back to the camp. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty creepy, um, that, and, um, I think what was another creepy part of that? How he was watching the other girl, that was, uh, that was, um, fairly spooky. <laughs> In the negotiation. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, how long am I supposed to wait? Like, I missed it. Awesome. I missed the negotiation. That's one thing I do like about this game is you can wait too long past certain things, and um, you can miss it can miss certain things. In fact, so let me see, where is that at? Oh, that's main quest, so side quests. Negotiation. All right, so I have to wait, like, I think this is a total of 10 minutes. Is it 10 minutes? Something like that, I don't know. But anyway, while we wait for this mission to continue, um, I think what else was it about Brightburn that got me? Ah, but anyway, on to my other favorites, my actual favorite favorite horror movies. Um, I think maybe about it's about fifteen of them, and some of them I will because I will put them all together. Like, if there's a 1, 2, and 3, I'll, I'll count them as 1. Especially when they stay on the same story. You got some of them that don't. You know, 1 is different than 3, and 3 is different than 2. You know, all that stuff. Uh, but uh, the ones that are actually 
together together i'm gonna keep together probably first and foremost of my scary movies um has to go with the things i think i was like two or three years old when i was in the the movie the thing and uh i remember i remember that even as a kid that i love that movie I remember I love that movie. Um, my family kept saying, I kept saying, remarkable. We mockable, we mockable, we mockable the whole time. <laughs> uh, the thing, um, Watch the 1982 thing first, then watch the 2011 thing, and then go back to the very beginning of thing 82, the 1982 thing, and you'll see just how accurate they was in the 2011 with everything that happened. It was freaking phenomenal. It was great. Um, possibly next on the list on um, scary movies. You know, sometimes, man, I just ooh, the thing, man. I could we could stay on that. That's a family tradition. The thing, I could stay on that for so long. When it comes to the thing, it was so great of a movie. The dialogue, the um, wasn't even much scenery. It wasn't one of those things that you went all over the place they were all over the world or anything or they were they were oh it was just and it was cold you felt cold all the time looking at that movie um you had blair the quaker oats dude <laughs> if you remember the quaker the old school quaker oats man from the 80s and the early 90 commercials man he was in there and he was a trip he was a utter trip in that movie man it was awesome that movie was so spooky the special effects for then even hold up now the special effects are still spooky when you look at it um the thing, the 1982 thing, it was the, the 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 dogs, the part with the dogs when they went through the uh, the hallway. Old boy went through the hallway. The who was taking care of the dogs, and uh, you just hear the dogs like hollering and 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 barking, and then you see it, and you're just like you're blown away at how creepy and terrible it looks. Um, just so many things and it was and to find out like a lot of that stuff uh only a couple of people were in on what was going to happen they ad-libbed uh a lot of people's expressions um it was a part where uh it was a guy no one uh knew how he was going to look because he had the uh big coat on and the coat was covering his face and uh they didn't um they didn't know. I think Kurt Russell and the rest of them, uh, uh, Keith David, none of them knew what was going to happen. But they was like, that was actually real. His the, the panic that they all went through that you saw and the fact that they like tripped over the barrels trying to like get away <laughs> was actually real. That was uh, pretty awesome. Um just, just so many, and, and I love those uh, type of movies that you can interpret things yourself. They still, thing left a lot of unanswered questions. Uh, they just, it, it was, it was just one. It's still one of my favorite uh, horror movies, uh, sci-fi horror. Mostly everything on my list is uh, sci-fi horror. 
mostly everything sci-fi horror. Mostly everything is not uh, hack and slash. There are some hack and slashers on there, but mm, not many. I'm 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 mainly sci-fi horror, like my mom was. Um, maybe has something to do with her. Maybe not. I just know I liked. I like always like that stuff better than um hack and slash. Um, aliens. Aliens would be the would would definitely be up there running neck to neck with the thing. Aliens was possibly the first one I had seen. Of course, uh, everybody else had seen uh, Alien, Alien, Aliens, and then Alien Three. Um, I saw Aliens first, and then saw Alien and Alien uh, Three in that order but uh aliens was actually the first one i had seen and it was so awesome oh my goodness uh and then we came home and my mom had uh our mom's favorite oh yep yep exactly rocky <laughs> exactly man that aliens man aliens was so freaking um spooky Just the fact there was so many of them, they were cook the people were cocooned up, and then the thing would break out of their chest. Oh, oh my goodness, it was so creepy. Um, I remember uh, an alien. Uh, I remember my mom used to always talk about the things that was in the these other alien movies that came after. She used to always say that. Um, they were they were like bugs, and this is a before you know the internet and before people's opinions were so you know widespread over the world. You know this was when you saw a movie, and the only way you found out uh, that people liked the movie was either through a review or through um, uh, you know just people talking. In person, and my mom used to just say that, yeah, and these things are like bugs. She was like, "This is this is disgusting. This is gross," and she used to just compare it all to bugs. And I remember she talked about um, the ship. We used to have debates on the ships, like did the aliens, did the xenomorphs, did they fly and could they control? Are there some xenomorphs that are smart? Uh, and I think in the first Alien. There is one that actually is, um, they're going in before they, uh, before the facehugger gets on, uh, oh boy. Um, they, uh, they see us like, uh, I don't know what you could say it is. It was an uh, alien, I guess, like, uh, I guess one had broken out of, of its chest, like they was putting them up they were putting themselves using themselves instead of using other uh other uh people you know it's kind of it was kind of weird kind of weird kind of weird so wait a minute what happened i'm not understanding how am i missing this negotiation so wait, do I have to attend the negotiation within the time frame? I think I gotta attend it within the time frame. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, I am getting confused. Well, where is it at? Side mission form. Okay, so I still messed up. I don't know. 
Okay, uh, that, so I blew that one. Whatever, whatever was going on, that uh, just got messed up. With I don't, I don't know how I just blew that, but okay. Awesome. I don't know how I, I blew that, but anyway, I did what it said. Wait for the negotiations. I waited and it didn't happen. But, um, only aliens, um, yeah, the aliens, it, it, part two had so many memorable lines, aliens two, or aliens, just had so many memorable lines, it, it, it made no sense, yo, where, where are we going? I guess that mission just got botched. I guess I don't I don't know. I don't know anymore. But the aliens uh it, the xenomorphs all together, man. Uh, it was still spooky. Like I said, the the first one Second one. Mordun is willing to meet you at Landristel to sign a peace treaty. You okay, really so are an accomplished negotiator. I knew back. Wait. It is in that case. Yes. Come back to. Ulan is acting strange. We. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't even understand what's happening. But anyway, attend. Let's go. Hopefully, I can get there. NPTW before all this woke trash. Dot dot. You had an excellent, very likable female-led hard character in Aliens in the One and MS Weaver. In yes, Sigourney Weaver, man. She was a very uh. She was a very strong. This is what I I, I never understand, because Sigourney Weaver was very strong, and and there were men doubting her. There were men doubting her. I remember, I think it was Aliens. I think that's Aliens. That, um, uh, Paul Reiser was like, he was really like, oh, you're just emotional. You're just an emotional. You know, you're, you're, you're really, really, like, you're really too emotional. You know, uh, he was, uh, kind of putting these things in there saying that because you're a woman, you're emotional and and you can't make the calls uh you know uh but the funny thing is they did it in a way where it wasn't they wasn't shoving it down your throat and she wasn't like oh you're saying that you're just saying that because i'm a woman no she she like was like yo i am I've got bad attitude coming out of my ears. I know about this. You can't tell me. And she did it. She did what she was supposed to do, man. It was awesome. It was, it was... I am so tired of them stopping. Yeah, but she was she was awesome. Yeah, she was she was um Thank you for coming. You saved me. She was just a strong character, man, that that um would betray us both. My men I'd never found I think Sigourney Weaver is prettier now than she was when she was younger I mean no offense Miss Sigourney Weaver I, mean, I just like when she was younger in in the aliens I didn't think she was I mean I just thought she was really really skinny but I felt that she had a sex appeal though she had a beyond sex appeal that was strong 
I mean, she was, uh, <laughs> this is a woman who was, you know, they made up, I think they said they made those underwear for, like, they were sporting that underwear for, the, it, it came from the movie. That's, that's where it originated from. That's the first time you were seeing that underwear that she had in Alien. And it was, uh, she talked about how uncomfortable and terrible it was. <laughs> and I can't blame her. <laughs> it looked like at any moment, if you, you know, move too much, that it was just going to fall off. But, uh... It was still, it, it had a sex appeal on it that it wasn't still a whole bunch where it was, where you couldn't take her seriously. And it was a whole bunch where, it wasn't a whole bunch where, um, you got distracted. But she was, she had the strength, man. She was awesome. There's no other way to say it, man. It was, it was one of those, uh... Oh. Why is my stuff only last in a couple of minutes? But she was awesome. She was awesome. Oh, that in Aliens! Not only that, Vasquez! Vasquez, man. That was, um... Vasquez was awesome. A awesome character. And no matter what sexuality Vasquez was, I never, never knew. And they never said. And we didn't care. Because Vasquez was awesome! Oh my god, I'll use my... Vasquez was awesome, whether she was, um, whether she was part of the, uh, alphabet community, whether she was, uh, all that stuff really didn't even, you know, they, they, they wasn't pushing any of that stuff then, it was just about action, those type of, uh, sci-fi, horror movie, action movies, it was very little, not like now. Very little of that stuff in those movies. You know, it was it was just ooh. You knocked me down. It was very little uh politics stuff in there. They the the only politics they had was maybe it was a dirty senator that did his thing and you know you had the guy that was gonna the action Jackson Arnold Schwarzenegger commando Niger Schwarzenegger that would take him down um nonetheless great uh, great stuff aliens was was man it was the f I think it was the first time I was able to I think aliens and the thing were the first times I were a I was able to watch a rated R movie with all that with all so much cussing as a kid because I was not allowed to see uh, too many rated R movies that uh, as a kid that had uh, a whole bunch of profanity in it so. That's how special t those movies were to me, because I'm like, oh wow, my mom likes it so much that uh, she's not even caring about the profanity. And uh, of course, you know, if you put yourself in those situations, you're going to be cussing up a storm no matter uh, what, uh, what belief, <laughs> what denomination of Christianity. What religion? No matter what you are, you're going to be cussing up a storm when you got aliens all over you. Xenomorphs and your best friend right next to you just changed into uh, a freaking monster. So, uh, great stuff. Great freaking stuff. How do I get down there? Okay. Great 
stuff. Uh, also, uh, on my list would be the It movies. I think all the It's are on there, man. I, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't tell you the new It's, the old It's. I, uh, I loved them. I loved them. I gotta put them down as the same movie. Um, I gotta put them down in the same, uh, genre. The same, uh, just, just the same box set. That's another box set, the It's. The It's are, uh, I definitely like these last ones. I know a lot of people said, uh, oh no, there's, you know, there's nothing like the nostalgic, uh, original one and they that one was good uh i think uh oh dude that played the clown was awesome everybody did such a great job in that one and it was pretty much made for tv the first it was made for tv i remember it was not in the movie theaters or none of that and um i remember just being so this meeting captivated at, uh, you know, the creepy stuff Mordor that was going on at the school. And just you didn't know exactly what was going to happen. The most normal time that they had was when uh, they would be around each other. But if they were by themselves, that's when you know the creepy, crazy crap was going to happen. And uh, same with, of course, uh, the newer It's that were done in the uh, late 2000s. Um, great. They're just, they were, they were great to me. Um, from um, the new guy who did Pennywise. Uh, scary. Scary, scary stuff, man. I, I mean, um, I think, uh, he's, um, I think he's underrated. I think he's an underrated actor as well, um, even though, of course, he kind of, he's, he's a protege, he's, he's, his family is all into, you know, acting and all of that. But the guy who, uh, of course, I can't think of anybody's names because I don't have anything in front of me. And I am trying to still concentrate on where the heck I'm going on this map. But uh, it was, um, I need to start. Who do I need to take with me? Whose story am I doing? Let's, let's. Maybe I need to do that. Let's let's do some game stuff before I continue on this list. Who who am I whose mission am I supposed to be doing? Who's got a mission that I need to do? Fosco All right, come on. Let me let me just take Vasco with me. Come on. Glad to see you, my friend. I intend to. I will have to go. So, shall we go and see her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. With pleasure. Let's see what adventure she has in store for us. I'll take old girl off. Yeah, I'll take you off. I just took her off. No. I thought I just did that. Alrighty. Got him with me. Alright, now we know where to go on a straight line. Um. Was I talking about. Was I still talking about the it's? This were great, man, from We All Float. <laughs> we All Float and all that stuff. All that stuff was so creepy. All that stuff was very, very creepy. Um, We All Float down here. I don't know why I'm here. I might as well do this one.
But uh, I remember when I saw the, the newer it's. And I, uh, the first scene with uh, his brother. You know, that, that let me know that this wasn't the same it that uh, we grew up with. <laughs> that, that opening scene right there with his little brother let me know that, uh, oh man, I, 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 I was hooked. I was hooked. I remember... Um, there were people that was like, oh, no, I love the first It, and I only want to watch, I only want to watch that. I don't want to, I don't care about the new one. I don't care about the new one. So I remember I had, uh, I think I got it through the PlayStation. Uh, yeah, I had it on my PlayStation uh, movie app, and I, uh... I had uh, showed them the first five minutes, the first five minutes, and I remember everybody's face was so creeped out. I'm the emissary of the Congregation of Merchants. Oh no! To meet your leader. Come now, Oh no! I did the wrong one. I did not mean to do this. Oh no! I did not mean to do this. This is the area I didn't mean to go to. Oh. Petrus. Everybody's locked. Um, y'all, I can't. I can't do anything. I don't even remember Petrus was being with us. Crap. Oh. She's locked. I don't want to do this mission. All right, hold on. I do not want to do this mission. Didn't realize it was that mission. I don't want to do that mission. Well, not before you do the other missions. That's part of the main mission. I guess I might as well get these other missions out the way. We're going to do your thing after all. I forgot that was part of the main mission. Wasting valuable time. Um. But yeah, uh, the first opening part of um of it, man, that 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 had me hooked. They had a lot of other people Good hooked, day. and uh, let me know day. that there I'm was the this was going to be a pretty new this was gonna be pretty new though exactly it was um enchanted I though it had you know pretty much the same thing going on as the other it's but uh, the spe the better special effects the um, I don't know it was just I really liked it I really liked it it was uh definitely spooky definitely spooky and on my list on my what list of favorites, um, Captain Vasco, I'm glad to see you again. Quiet Place. From your time on land. One and two. That's quiet Place was um. You want me to entrust you with Quiet Place was awesome. Indeed. I did not, and I think A when things, when I don't think things are gonna be uh that the good, I think they're even the better to me. When um, I saw the Quiet Place, I saw the previews of the Quiet Place, and um, I don't know. I just always thought like, hey, this seems like a seems like a parent movie, and it was technically, <laughs> but like it seems like a parent movie that you would uh be like, you know, time out, a Quiet Place, children. You be quiet or else the monster will come and get you around the house when I'm trying to recover from mommy's wine time. 
you know, I, I, I kind of felt like that's what it was. Those were the jokes that we were making uh, before we saw the movie, when we were seeing the previews. I remember everybody was saying stuff like that. Um, a quiet time place. <laughs> Those kind of stupid little things. Um, but the uh, movie really, really was good. Surprisingly was um surprisingly was really good. Um of course as usual I'm like mm, could need a little more monsters. You know, but they they capitalized definitely on the suspense and um the whispering. They definitely uh capitalized all on that. No no doubts about it. You know, you were, uh, you were definitely, um, wondering, like, oh my god, oh my god, don't be too loud, girl, oh my god, you can't, you can't hear nothing, you don't know how loud you are. <laughs> I, I, I just remember, uh, watching the movie and just being... Like, I can't believe I'm enjoying myself. As much as, you know, I joked about this movie and as much as I didn't want to see it, uh, I'm like, I enjoyed myself. And the second one, I was like, well, you know, that's a once in a lifetime thing. I don't see how this is going to be any better better and I was like oh they still are using the uh the dead and the dead is you know dead and uh I don't know I don't think I'm gonna like this because I kind of liked him in the other one and I but most definitely I need to go back to the camp I thought most definitely he should have been in there but they did a good job of you know sh having a uh, prequel stuff happened, stuff that happened, you know, they're just remembering certain things that was going on with their dad, and, um, well, that's because I haven't found, ugh, so this is the closest one I have, awesome, that is some garbage, that is some booty, that is some booty, But, uh, yeah, the second one, I still was technically surprised. Because I didn't think I was going to like that one uh, as much as the first one, or even... Because I was like, ah, oh, that was a fluke! I won't be caught off guard this time! And I still technically was caught off guard, because it was still good! It still was good! And definitely, uh, always worth, worth checking it out, man. Loved. Loved the movie. Um, possibly will later on, on these movies, actually do my own little longer review just talking about that one movie. Or, you know, maybe the one or two movies, you know. But, uh... Y'all know I gotta... Stop talking. Start fighting, or else I'll start dying. Ugh. Yeah, wait a minute. So why can't I go to camp near the water? Shouldn't I be able to go to that one? Unless it's that way. Oh, it must be. This is annoying me. Sometimes the way this map is set up really, really annoys me. Um. Uh, the Quiet Place, I, I, like I said, second one, 
definitely enjoyed it um from old girl uh really really having um some issues about uh you know her dad and you know actually they snuck the uh strong woman they snuck the strong woman in there because you really didn't expect uh the mom to uh in the first quiet place most definitely you didn't expect the mom to be as uh as strong as she was, cause wow, what y'all doing? Why did y'all start that? I didn't say start that. Never said do that. Nice going, guys. But probably next on um, the list would be of horror movies. Would, um... The, um... Insidious series? I would say, I guess, yeah. I would guess I would say uh, the Insidious. Because the first, the second one... And I think the third one? Because I think there's like five of them. Like if you put all of them together. I think it's like five of them all together. Um, I think, yeah, I think it is. But the, uh, I think the, what the, what the, what the heck is going on here? Why am I? Running in place. Invisible wall there. Oof. These guys. Y'all know I gotta do it. Why aren't you freaking dead? I am quite sure. Um, y'all? Why didn't I hit anybody? No sense. But anyway, Insidious, yes, that is on. Insidious definitely is on my list. Uh, they creeped me out. Not all of them. I think there was, um... There were, of course, always things... Bro, you did no damage with that move. You might need to... Get that taken off of your, your front bar. Maybe put it on your back bar. I think all of the uh, the stuff concerning the mystery was more with Insidious than the scares. I think uh, this is the part that scared me. I am not continuing to fight every time. Hey, every time, and they're everywhere. Jesus, I just want to go by. Just, uh, just enemy is on every everywhere you go. Awesome. 
trying to let y'all live. All y'all had to do was just leave me alone. Uh, but yeah, the Insidious, I think the best thing about those were the actual, um, the mystery behind, um, some of the stuff that was going on, um, with the, uh, the guy that kept trying to, you know, come back, you know, that, which actually he was a, he was a crossdresser? I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But it was freaking spooky. I can tell you that much. Because for the first part of the, I think it was the first and the second when you thought it was a woman, and then later on you find out that it wasn't a woman. It's a guy, and it's pretty spooky. It was. It was. It was pretty spooky about the. Uh, you know, I do. I do. I do get down with the ghost stories. The little ghost stories. Good ghost stories and sci-fi. I am totally for. But, uh, you know. When it comes to hack and slash. Uh, it's very few of those on my list. I'm not a hack and slasher. Not a big fan of the hack and slash. Uh... But, yes. Prometheus definitely, like I said, would be on my list. Like I said, this list isn't actually in any kind of... Any kind of order besides my number ones probably being um, Alien and Thing. Thing and Aliens uh, would probably always be my number one. Uh, but as for everybody else, kind of falls under the same... The same little thing. Um, what can I say? Who else? Uh, the Ring series? They're kind of hit and miss to me. You know, because I originally saw Ringola. Ringola? I think, that, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, the original one. I saw that originally. I remember originally seeing that, and um, later on seeing um, the Ring movies, um, the American ones. And I remember it being... It was, it was creepy as well. Ringola was... oh my god. Ambush! Can I look at the one that's looking at me? Oh, it didn't take her 20 years to somehow swing. Honk. But yeah, the Ring Ola movies. That was... that would be on my list, but mm, I don't know. I don't know, but I think the first ring... I remember seeing and was like, oh, this is actually not too bad of a version of... You know, though it's taken from Ringola... Ring... Ringola? Ringola? I think that's how you say it, you gotta roll it with it. Uh... It was actually pretty... it was it was okay. It was pretty good. So, I mainly go for stuff that's stuck in my memory. For whatever reason. It it's sad. Seeing a large ship on its side like this. It almost looks like a giant corpse. 
Uh, it is a giant corpse because it has giant corpses underneath it. Corpses are chained up. These beasts were captive. Could they have died during the sinking? I don't think so. They don't seem to have drowned. Something bigger was slaughtered. No effort at all. It was for no effort at all. Um, ring all up. Ah, I think saw. I forgot about the first saw. It looks like the movie. first saw movie. But look, uh, it's wow. Is this ringing any bells? I don't think any of them had that same that same umph that the rest of the saw movies had. Uh, that the first saw movie had. I think two was pretty good as well. But, uh, I think two and three, I don't know, the rest of them just got so ridiculously gory that, um, they lost inter inter interest to me, like, I it lost my interest, uh, just lost its appeal, the other Saw movies to me, because it was just like, the only thing they stopped worrying about was how much gore they had in it, so, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wasn't a, I wasn't a big big fan of uh, the rest of the saws, but the first saw, the first saw, oh yeah, man, that ending, that ending, and they kept it throughout the whole thing. Um, it was doing twist. It was doing twist in that first saw. They were really working on more of the suspense and the, uh, the misdirectional twist. That were going on, um... I was... That part was so scary to me at the end. That part, like, really, really, like... Creeped me and had my mouth on the floor. I, I was... Wow. Uh, the first Saw movie. Wow, that was... That was... Um, like I said, when a guy gets up and he closes the door... It wasn't even the fact that he killed the guy or anything. It's just the fact that he got up. He had been there the whole time got up and closed the door and then they did it in that little slow animation it was it was petrifying <laughs> first saw i mean i gotta say man it, it was great it was great um predator the predator uh the original predator can can predator really be on there though i don't know can predator really be on there because predator was uh I mean, yeah, because it was, it, it's still science fiction and horror and all of that. Uh, Predator, the first Predator, yeah. Yeah, definitely on there. Predator, um, had that, um, creepiness about it. That was, um, though it was an action movie, you know, the fact that, uh, the stuff that the Indian dude was saying, the Native American guy, uh, the stuff that he was saying was pretty awesome, you know, and creeping you out, as you know, the Indian dude was, he was so mystical, the way he talked, it was awesome, uh, <laughs> and, you know, you had these guys that were big, muscular, and yet and still... They were even getting creeped out about finding their uh, comrades skinned and hung up. Uh, that that was pretty. Ooh, that was pretty awesome though. That was that was the the Predator series. Uh, I don't know. At the second one was okay. I know uh, uh, Big Rock was saying uh, Rocky Lee was saying that you know that uh, he loved the second one the best. Uh, First one for me. First one was my favorite. Um, the other Predators ee, have been so-so. Prey, like I said, you know, in one of my other reviews, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Of course, they still had the, the oh, you're a girl, you can't do this type of stuff going on. But, I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't heavy-heavy. It was he it was in there, but it wasn't the only only thing in there. You know, her brother was the person that believed in her, 
and um pray pray was pray was was good it was probably my second favorite uh predator movie um and i can't forget silent hill the movie i always forget about that movie i almost forgot about it silent hill the silent hill i think the silent hill 2 the silent hill 2 i always forget it was a silent hill 2 movie that was done pretty good I'm talking to you guy you're who i'm talking to um yeah uh the silent hill 2 movie was ah it was really good i liked it i liked the what in the who is that oh he just been creeping up the he been oh that thing looks so disgusting Imagine that you're talking to your buddies right here and that's behind you. I remind you of your mom when you laugh at a dirty joke that you <laughs> you don't realize she's there. <laughs> My mom's behind me, isn't she? Oh, that's that's pretty creepy in itself. That's uh that thing is disgusting looking. What's that coming out of its mouth? Oh, well, looks like we're... Oh, they're tentacles. Okay. And none of my shots are coming through. Nice. Yeah, sure, you know, I mean... I don't need... I'm quite sure. Oh, wow. I'm quite sure I'm supposed to be doing some kind of damage to this guy. Oh, reminds me of the thing right there. Thing movie. What exactly is happening? If y'all don't stop hitting him when I'm doing my move. I'm quite sure I was doing more damage. Uh, potions. Let's see. Is your healing potion? I need something for magic. Oh boy. Now, the funny thing is, that guy has a gun. And he doesn't want to use it. So much weaker than I was last time I played this game. Could swear I was doing big numbers on uh, All the clues seem to corroborate screwing these guys up. This is the same thing that happened at the harbor in Serene. The guardian who was locked up on board freed itself and ripped apart the hull of the boat to get out. Yes. And my brothers had no means of saving their uh, But the Silent Hill games, uh, not games, movies, the Silent Hill movies, uh, 
They were specifically spooky because of, um... They... I love the nurse scene. Both... I think on both of those, the nurse... Nurses scenes were... Uh... Relatively got me behind them. They were so spooky. They were so spooky and so great. Um... Even though the first one... I didn't think I was going to like the first Silent Hill movie because they changed James into the, the wife. I kind of I kind of felt like that was a little disrespectful. I'm like, come on, guy. You, you try, y'all are trying to say uh, a man can't go this far for his, uh, his child... I didn't, I didn't too tough care for that. That they changed the uh, character. I think something's up here. I didn't too tough like that when it came to the Silent Hill. Uh, Silent Hill movie. But other than that, I mean, everything else was spot on. Some of the acting, of course, was terrible. But... <laughs> Some of that acting was not great. Hey, skill point. Some of that acting was not great. I will say that. Fury game by hitting enemies from behind. Yeah, we can get that. I will say that. I, I, I'm not going to uh, debate on whether that whether everybody's acting was up to par. I think Sean Bean was the only one. Even though he came in the second movie. He was a lot in the second movie. Um, is this the movie? Is this the thing I want? Throw a bomb in the area? I think that's the one I want. But I don't want to go through this way. I want to go down this way for the vile throw. Yep, I think that's the way that'll go. I think. Actually, you know what? I forgot. This is the other thing I need. That shield is good. That shield is actually pretty good to have. Um... But the nurse scenes in uh, Silent Hill, all of them were pretty spooky. I loved, um, you know, I was glad to see Pyramid Head on the big screen. It was great. Um, the little girl in there, which um, I can't, they showed her now and she was in something and I totally didn't realize that was her. Um, but, uh... All that stuff was... It, it just... It fit. It fit. Silent Hill, they did, uh... For that being a, um... Movie... Video game. A game that was... A movie that was made... From the game. It was... Both of them were done pretty good. You know, you can't take anything away from both of... Both movies. Even though I... Think, like I said, I, I forget about that there was a second Silent Hill movie. They never, to me, promoted the second Silent Hill movie that great. It was never promoted that great. But, in fact, I don't even think you really can find it like that. Because I remember I was downloading a lot of movies and purchasing a lot of movies on the PlayStation... Um, on the PlayStation store and of course now that stuff isn't in there who knows if it'll if if they'll delete my my collection or not but um I remember I don't I don't I don't remember when I was going through there ever seen Silent Hill 2 so I could put that in my digital collection uh, cuz I would have I definitely would have put Silent Hill 2 in there but, uh, 
nonetheless, Decided. that said, the Silent Hill, yeah, love those. I think they were better than um, Resident Evil. Resident what Evil, um, Resident Evil One was was pretty decent. Honestly, Resident Evil Two was pretty good, and from there that was it. But they aren't on my list. They're they're all right. They I. They are like they I. They're not on my movie list. Um, Evil Dead. What? Can I put Evil Dead on there? Evil Dead. What? Uh, the Evil Dead uh, 2013. Now. I know a lot of people love the original one, and I really only remember one part, and that was the girl. That I saw it a long time ago, and I remember I was like, hmm, I don't think this one is for me. <laughs> the, the, the original Evil Dead, uh, and I think my uh, bow out moment was uh, when the girl got originally... Uh, uh, raped by uh, trees. He'll be waiting for you. She got uh, that. That that was that was pretty much it for me. In the newer one, it isn't even like that. Period. Uh, I think they the trees are coming over to her, but they aren't coming to do that. They're they're like uh, just they're just like invading her mind. Pretty much, they aren't. Um, they aren't doing all the other stuff that was in the original. Uh, the part about the new one that creeped me out was um, the girl that was cutting off her face. The bathroom scene and all of that. And she was, and you know, I, stuff concerning people's face, I get a little squeamish about. And this was even before my little traumatic incident where I saw a person uh, fall and hit the edge of a, a brick little construction little structure and rip her face off and I had to hold the lady's face together before that you know before that happened I never you know stuff concerning somebody's face getting uh, you know gnawed off or something I've always been a little squeamish on that kind of stuff so um seeing old girl and she was fine too she was the only fine woman on in, in the uh in the new evil dead she was the only fine one the other chicks were were mm, they were kind of homely she was the finest one a little little cute uh looked like she was latino or something i don't know i don't know but she was fine and they killed her you know how i feel about killing fine women i don't i don't, I don't i'm against it <laughs> especially megan good why does megan good always gotta die in every doggone freaking scary movie that she's ever in anytime megan good is in a in some kind of a scary movie she gotta die in the very beginning that right there, that's why Pauls isn't on my list. A couple other uh, movies that she was in, that she was, they advertised that she was supposed to be in, and they did not have her in there. That's why they, I'm like, that movie gets a low score. Just on that fact alone, you cannot do that to Megan Good. How dare you? How dare you do that to her? She's very underrated. Very underrated. But, uh, <laughs> Evil Dead, yeah, that part right there when the lady, uh, you know, was cutting her face off, that, that was really creepy. That right there, that's, that in itself, I wouldn't say it's my, what is that guy doing? Speaking of, uh, huh. He's moving like he belongs on Silent Hill. Alrighty, that's um. Huh. You know what? I think I'll stay right here and uh, finish up the rest of my list. <laughs>
keep it right here on this creepy thing happening right now with this guy uh, gyrating super super fast. It's molecules are doing the flash. Um, I think Friday the Thirteenth, the newer one. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth, the old oh nine one. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it was nothing compared to the other one. I know that. I know that, but the uh, part when uh, Buddy Boy put the girl in the sleeping bag and uh, hung her up to, to, to steam her alive is uh, kind of sticks in my brain. <laughs> kind of sticks in my brain is, ooh, oh my god. <laughs> that was really creepy to me. That was, that was really creepy to me. Uh, that was sad. Sad. You know, I was, that was thoroughly disturbed at that um I was done. I remember uh, I saw that with my sisters, and we were, um, normally, you know, we make fun of movies. We do a lot of, uh, jokes and roast, Jones and ribs. We do a whole bunch of that kind of stuff while we are, um, while we are, um, you know, watching movies sometimes. We're like, oh, man, oh, oh, please. Oh, nah, 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 nah. We do all that kind of stuff. But, man, that one right there, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I am 100%... That, that creeped the heck out of me. That... Especially the part, once again, concerning faces, when they, uh, cut the face off of Buddy Boy, and, um, he's, you know, uh, the, 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 the dude with chainsaws chasing after everybody, and, uh, you know, they finally, he finally gets in the light, and he's on, I think he's on top of the car, and he, you know, raises his head up, and it's her boyfriend's face. You know, and it's half hanging on because he's just slapped it on his face. And it, uh, ah, that, uh, that got me. That got me. I remember me and my uh, sisters on the way home. We were so, we were, we were, we were pretty spooked out. We were, we were pretty scared. We were creeped out. We, um, I mean, like I said, normally we, it's a lot of jokes. It's a lot of, we was joking the best we could, but we all were nervous. <laughs> we all were so nervous. And, uh, it's, I think it's, it's, it's only those times right there that we actually call each other when we get home. When we got all, when we, we all got home to our separate places. We all called each other. You okay? You all right? Did you make it home? That's that's what Texas Chase Basket did to us. Did you make it home okay? We, we we became concerned siblings for once in our lives after seeing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No one no one took you, did they? <laughs> and and we didn't there were no there, we didn't have uh I think only two of us had cell phones at that time and um I think uh my sister, my younger, older sister, she 
stayed on the phone with me the whole time. And uh, my older sister didn't have a cell phone. So so I guess she was the only one with a cell phone. Um, scared to death. Scared to death. Uh, my older sister called me when she got home and was like, I made it! I made it! You know, I could hear the panic in her voice. Like, I made it up the stairs! I made it up the stairs! Leatherface didn't come and get me! You know. Uh... <laughs> but sometimes those are the joys. Unfortunately, those are the joys of uh, of watching horror movies. Those are the, the the setbacks, so to speak, of watching horror movies. Ooh, that that really scared me when I just came out of there. I forgot that guy was standing there. But we always had great times. What am I doing here? Because we are a, we were a horror, horror people, horror, uh, horror video games, horror, uh, movies, shows, um, American Horror Story. I remember I watched the first, first couple of seasons on that. I wasn't as scared of watching that. That was just how I... So I kind of got all out of those, and the funny thing is people told me that those got really, really good later on. What is up with her hair? What is up with this? Why don't they have these hairstyles on the game? Ooh, my god, she looks so horrible. Ooh. But anyway, they don't have those hairstyles on the game that you can choose your character with. I would have, wouldn't have mind having that hairstyle. Find out what that is over there. But those are my uh, those are my movie horror choices. Possibly um, Nightmare on Elm Street. I forgot about that. Nightmare on Elm Street, the original one with Johnny Depp. That was spooky because I saw that like late night when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, my mom had fallen asleep, and at one point she was the only one that had a uh, cable in the room. She's the only one that had it, so uh, we used to go to sleep sometime in the room, and sometimes uh, things would come on TV late night. And I'm um, not going to incriminate myself any more than that, but Nightmare on Elm Street was um, one of them. And I remember that was, that had me pretty creeped out. That had me pretty creeped out. Um, the rest of them, however, they didn't do that to me. The rest of them didn't do that, but the first one and... I think it was a part in, um, I think it was a part in Dream Warriors that, uh, that creeped me out when it came to, um, the Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I, I think it was the part with the, the kid that was doing was shooting drugs up or something in his veins and Freddy uh and Dream Warriors actually was not even scary but I think this uh Dream Warriors was the only one that they actually was fighting back and I really kind of liked it but I remember this part really freaked me out as a kid was uh when Jason I'm not Jason Freddy cut the guy's veins cut his arms open and had his veins uh, like he was a puppet, like he was on the strings of a puppet, and he was walking throughout the uh, facility and walking on the edge of the windows and stuff. That that creeped me out. I know it probably wasn't. Everybody else was kind of like, oh, it's, it was kind of funny. It was, but it was uh, creeped me out. Creeped me out. 
So I think pretty much those two are the only ones that, uh... They had parts that creeped me out. The Nightmare on Elm Streets. Definitely the part with Johnny Depp. Cause you know I, you know I love some Johnny Depp. That right there crept me out. Creeped me out when, um... Johnny Depp got, uh... You know, plastered all over the place. He was in the bed and got sucked into the bed. It was, it was just ah, a lot of creepy. That was that was that was creepy to me. It kind of gives me creeps now just thinking about it. Where? Oh, where? But uh, yeah, that's my list though. That's my list. Uh, you know, if you guys have a list. Uh, put it in the uh, put it in the comments. Live chat's about to be over. I'm about to get on off of here in a second. But um, yeah, if you have some of your favorite horror movies and or just some that creeps you out. Because sometimes you don't have to have, like, those. Uh, some of those movies aren't my favorites. It was just maybe a couple of things in there that, that creeped me out. Like, I wouldn't actually put uh, Evil Dead in my favorite category. But it is, uh, it did have, like, those parts that really, really creeped me out. Um, does anybody else have that? You know, really, the, the stuff that... It's not your favorite movie, but it, it has something that really, really creeps you the heck out. So, you had to go ahead and... ahead and put it on your, uh... Put it on your list! I remember one of my uh, older brother, his, um... He used to be creeped out at, uh... Wait, where is it that I need to go? I don't see it. Okay, there's that. There's the other one. I need to find out where I'm going first. Near the water. It's original, original name. The camp near the water. The camp down by the river. No, stay. No help. I really wish y'all would not. Wait, a minute, I don't need him in my party anymore. We're done. And if we are done, I don't need this guy in my party. get to it unless you go to a another certain spot oh, finally uh, talk to this guy
got the music playing for the that deer over there? I hear the drums like somebody's about to sneak. Oh, it's this guy. Not this. Oh, it's these guys. Oh God. I swear I've got to. Once again, we take. I'm holding them still so I can hit them. Not so y'all can hit them. I'm gonna hit them with y'all little weak. Y'all weak hits. Uh, you know what? In fact. Need to look at their armor and stuff. What they have on. Yep. Because it looks like they need a upgrade on their stuff. They need to upgrade. I need an upgrade. We all need some upgrades. What's over here? We all need to upgrade our gear. That's one thing about this game that uh, you can actually do pretty, pretty good when it comes to uh, taking care of your whole team. Your whole team can do a great amount of damage if you can. What? Yeah, your team can do great, great amount of devastating things if you keep up their armor, which I don't think I have because I've been. Let's see, what does everybody have on? Nope! Everybody has on. Oh, pretty much weak stuff. I mean, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, his stuff isn't too bad. He needs a better ring. Needs definitely better armor. Yeah, he needs better stuff. Yep, he needs better stuff. He, on the other hand, is okay. He needs a better jacket. That's if I use him, though. Wait, wait a minute. How much stuff did Kurt have? I wonder. What does Coit have? Check them out. Let's see, what are... They're not... How am I still with... Okay, so I think I'm looking at everybody's stuff. 
Okay, yeah, she definitely needs... Ooh, ooh, ooh! She's on... Um... Ugh. She's aight. Kurt is doing pretty good. He's not doing too bad. Okay. Take her and get her a new gun. What an astounding place. This must be the village of Eden that the Mother Cardinal told us about. All that's left to do is find Father Eustinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who right, discovered I think were also guarded. I know. You should find her a bit further in the village, with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently oh, mentioned them. The demons! So naive. The diamonds! Anyway, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I never thought I'd see natives living like this, side by side with the settlers. I doubt that things happened as harmoniously as they'd like us to believe. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft all of the relic right. is probably not a coincidence. I think this is where I will part ways with everybody. We'll go and we'll do our thing. We'll do our thing separately. But yo, you guys, it's been real. Thanks for dropping by. Ed Lethal. Rock, appreciate Rocky Lee dropping by and everybody else who did. Um, but yeah, put in the comments on what was your favorite horror movie for october scare fest what was one of your favorite horror movies what or just something that creeped you out in a horror movie uh until next time you guys can put that in the comment and you know we'll discuss that next time uh but until then we will catch y'all you guys be real and we'll see you out there this is death row signing off the black shepherd we will see y'all 